All right, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do a resultant vector calculation. So we're going to add the result of these two vectors together to figure out the uh, magnitude only of the uh, resultant vector. So um, it says two sisters pull their little brother on the sled, not important. Vector A, 39 newtons. Vector B, 7 newtons. Um, and uh, equal degree 33 degrees. So let's go ahead and write all that down. And uh, 39, 7, and 33. So 33, 33, and vector A is 39 newtons, and vector B is 7 newtons. So 7 newtons and 39 newtons and it says determine the magnitude of the resultant vector well to do that what we have to do is we have to look at the component vectors so um, we'll make two triangles out of these and we'll label them this is a x this is a y and over here this is b x and b y all right uh, so let's determine what those are first. Uh, starting with A, we're going to do, uh, here's opposite, here's the hypotenuse. To find out what AX is, we're going to go ahead and do the um, sine of 33 equals AX over 39. So 39 times the sine of 33 is going to be my AX value. And AY will be cosine of 33 is the adjacent side, AY over 39. So 39 times the cosine of 33 will be our AY. So let's go ahead and use the old calculator in degrees. Make sure 39 uh, times the sine of 33, and that's 21. 0.24092237 and 39 cosine of 33 and that is in newtons is 32.7081521 newtons is my ay and my ax all right so now we got to do the exact same thing but for uh, our other vector, which is vector B. So in this case, it would be sine 33 equals BX over 7. So 7 times the sine of 33 will be our BX. And cosine of 33 is our BY over 7. So 7 times the cosine of 33 is BY. Again, I'm just multiplying by 7 on both sides, which cancels those out. And uh, 7 here, 7 there. And that's how we got that. So 7 sine 33 gives me uh, 3.81247324.5. And 7 times the cosine of 33 gives me 5.87069-3976. And those are both Newtons. And what we've got to do here is we've got to combine our X's and our Y's. So we got to think a minute. And our um, X's are actually traveling in opposite directions. So we're going to subtract them. So we'll say BX minus AX, because AX is the one going to the left. And for the Ys, we're going to add them. So AY plus BY will give me my Y component and will give me my X component. And then to find the new vector, I've got to do X squared plus Y squared and square root it, right? The Pythagorean theorem will give me the new vector's uh, value. So let's go ahead and have at it. Uh, BX, uh, we said, was 3.8124732.